At the bottom of the screen below the worksheet tabs is the status bar. And very often you'll see the word ready in the lower left hand corner. But as we do different things with our Excel worksheet, we'll see different indicators there. For example, if I click column I, you might see some numbers at the bottom of the screen in the status bar. For example, count, numerical count, a few others, some average. This can be really handy at times to give you a perspective of what a worksheet consists of. We may or may not find all that information useful, but if you right click in the status bar, you'll see a huge list of features. Anytime you select cells within an Excel worksheet, if you highlight them, and we'll show you how to do that in a second, you'll get totals. And these may or may not be useful if you say, well, I think a lot of this is not very helpful. I don't need to count. You could uncheck some of these. If we now click back in the worksheet somewhere, the next time we either click a column like this, or maybe here, we'll only see averages and some other features here. You may have seen some other options too, as I right click again on the status bar, caps lock and nums lock. Now, when these features are selected, you likely see on your keyboard a light go on, but maybe I wanna have an additional indicator and I don't see one for caps lock, so I'll check that. And what happens now as I'm working with Excel, suppose I'm about to type here and I'm realizing it's coming out the wrong way. I'll look in the bottom of my screen and say, oh yeah, caps lock is on. I see that there. Right click anywhere within the status bar and decide whether you want to see or have active some of these features. The numerical part you'll find increasingly valuable, particularly if you work heavily with formulas and worksheets that have numbers in them. And the more you work with Excel, the more interesting and the more possible it's likely to be that you'll want to make some other changes here.